Yo, what's up guys? Tyler Coke is back. Welcome back to another video. Hold on, let me slurp. Oh. So guys, today we're going to do is two horror stories, which is actually brand new in the One C Entertainment. Even though go subscribe to it, you guys, I would appreciate that. Yeah, it's a, it has amazing videos and everything. I really love them and so much. Like, I love scary horror stories, like emanated ones. I love them. Like, I would always watch them every day. Like, seriously. So, guys, let's do this. Oh, nobody cares about credit cards. My hair is super long, you guys. I gotta like cut it a little, like snip or something. I don't play with corpses. Ew. And thank God I don't do it when I was little. I have never played with corpses in my life. Oh, watermelon. I like watermelon juice. It's so good. After eating lunch, I got bored again. I think it was about after five or six. On. I went back to the water to play alone. Thinking back, it was totally crazy. I was circling about with my hips crammed in a tube. My dog and I is. I was in a situation where I might die. Girl! Tube flips. But I was just looking up at the sky and thinking that the clouds were pretty at that time. Then suddenly, the center of my swim tube was shaken a little bit. That was the moment. A girl who looks like a middle school student suddenly grabbed my arm. Hold on. She looked slightly purple, as if she had been. Pause this video. Come here. You can't go outside. My dog's scratching my front door, you guys. That's so funny. Because everyone. My sister just got out. Every time my sister leaves, this dog right here starts to cry. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Girl. Right? We're gonna watch with my reaction video with my dog. Playing in the water for a long time. Ah! And said as if she was reassuring me. Fall off. You need to go. She looked kind of older than me, and I was just excited about the thing that she's gonna stay and play with me for a while. So I grabbed the tube, and then I swam with her. Sorry, guys. Well, I gotta grab my tube. I couldn't even realize what time it is now. I had so much fun with her. About oh, her look at her. She's like she's right there. To a shallow place near the riverside. It's going to be cold soon. I'll take you to the adults, she said. But at that moment, my grandmother suddenly screamed and kept shouting my name. She was very old and she didn't even come into the water, but she hurriedly came into the water with her socks on and she lifted me up and then ran out. Wow. Grandma, what's wrong? What happened? She's saving she her life. But as soon as I came out of the water, my family tried to cover my eyes so I couldn't see the valley. And my grandma was crying while saying that I was possessed by a ghost. I remember going to a temple or shaman's house for a while after that. What? Later, she got possessed? What happened that day. Oh my what gosh. It was a pure shock. The moment my grandmother looked at the valley to see if I was playing well alone, she saw that I was talking to myself while giggling, and something black got stuck at the end of my tube and was wobbling together. Wondering what, what I was so funny about, she put glasses on to see me and that black thing. And at that moment, she saw that I was swimming around holding someone's black and long hair. Her heart sank, and as she oh my quickly, gosh, she then saw the dead body slowly coming up. <gasps> she ran towards me. 
She was playing with a dead body. Oh my gosh. But where, what happened to the dead body? How did it get there? I got so many questions about this. How did it get there? All right, there's number two. This story is about my grandfather's experience. He died a long time ago. After he was declared dead at the hospital, we took the body home and put it in his room because my grandmother wanted to see him a little more before saying goodbye to her husband. But then something happened. Two days later, the room door suddenly opened and my grandfather crawled out asking for water. Literally, my grandmother and all of the aunts just fainted and only my uncles and my mom were barely awake. Huh? And I was just staring at this weird sight because I was too young at the time. I gave my grandfather a whole body massage after I brought him water. And on that day, the house was in chaos. Uh, my dog. Later, I went to my grandparents. Guys, my dog. And he was so lively that I could he's the one who once died. Quit it. And one day I was sitting with my grandfather eating ice cream. Sometimes my dog and always does that. to tell me a story. Even on that day, name. my grandfather woke up in the hospital Girl. and he noticed that everyone was crying. Girl. He asked them why they were crying, why, but no one answered. So he was just standing there. And then a man in a black suit called him outside the hospital room. What? Without time to think, he began why is there a man with a black suit? started to feel a little bit sad rather than scared. The crying sound from behind gradually decreased. And as he walked along with the man, he could see the village where he used to live as a child. Oh, look. There was a river at his feet that he had never seen Come on, seen guys, before, my dog. And the river was oh, yeah. really, really red. So he got goosebumps. No. The man was walking on the surface no, of the wait. water. And he pressed my grandfather to come over quickly. So the moment What's he tried to follow you, him, girl? he was also Why walking on the water. Why are you crying and trying to get out? You can't. After crossing the river... He then saw a black wooden structure long past the wasteland. When he was about to pass the gate, a woman in black mourning came out from the huh? inside and kicked him out, saying, No, you brought the wrong person. If you want to live another three years of your life, go and ignore everyone you meet. Do not look back. Just follow Aww, the look at her. She's animal. Cute. The woman said like this and disappeared into the house with the man. So my grandfather was going back the way he came. Don't, don't scratch the door again. I don't want to see you do it. I don't want to hear you do it. He beckoned him to come closer, <laughs> but my grandfather ignored him, thinking what the woman had said just before. Even if his friend cursed at him. After that, he met other friends, but he ignored all of them and just passed by. The moment he arrived at the river again, there was a bridge that was not there before. Huh? At that moment, a I bridge? saw his daughter who had died of fever when she was young, standing in front of the bridge. What the heck? He could not ignore his daughter. So he approached, and she stretched out her hand as if she wanted him to hold it for her. As soon as he was about to hold that hand, something pulled on his legs. Okay. When he I was, down, it was just me, he guys. He saw a white dog <gasps> that had been raised by him a long time ago was biting his pants and dragging frantically as if he should not hold that, that hand. That cute doggy. It's like he was telling him to cross the bridge immediately. He stepped back from his daughter quickly, and that was the moment when she suddenly rushed to him. Her mouth almost ripped to the ear, and she repeated like this, I'm going to catch you. I'm going to take you. Oh, my she was gosh. She him with a rope in her hand. Oh. He started to run toward the bridge, and the dog was barking at the ghost and guarded behind him. As soon as he crossed the bridge, that thing vanished with loud crying, and the dog was still barking as if he was telling him to hurry. He looked back when he was far away from the bridge, and then realized that the river, the bridge, the neighborhood, and the dog were all gone. What? The surrounding area was as white as a sheet. Damn, that was dope, but it's Hulu doesn't jet. That's crazy. It was the moment when he finally opened his eyes and he found himself lying in his bed. Grandfather also told this story to his local friends. 
And the oldest man told him a story that had been told by a shaman. There's a ghost that brings the dead who met with violent death. And he suggested that the ghost that grandfather saw seemed to be that kind of type. If ghosts lack a place to live in the afterlife, they would take the dead to build a new house. Anyway, after that, my grandfather lived really well for the rest of the three years, as the woman in the dream had said. And then he passed away while taking a nap on the same oh day he gosh. first died, three years ago. After that, I kept recalling my grandfather's lonely face while he told me a story at that time. My grandfather was not the type who originally believed in ghosts. While he was alive, he always cut the weeds around the grave and brought some drinks and snacks for the grave's owners whenever he saw the ownerless graves around his town. This, of course, is just my grandfather's very personal experience. So it's okay to think of it as just a novelty story because he told me exactly the same thing. So I guess he on my absolutely phone. went to heaven, but I just miss my grandfather. Well, guys, that's it for the video, but I hope you guys like, subscribe, and I'll see you to the next video, so bye.